morning. So today is Sunday. We are cooking fried rice. And this is all our stuff. Like the kitchen is a hot mess, okay? But I just made this marinade. Let me show you guys. I'm making my marinade for the chicken. This marinade is what I'm going to use for my meat. It has curry powder. I don't like turmeric like that. Sorry about the mess. I don't like turmeric powder like that, so I didn't add it. But it has curry powder. It has thyme, it has oregano, it has ginger, garlic, onions, um, what else? A little bit of season, salt. I know I put only seasoning cubes so that I can add salt as I go, but that's pretty much it. This is still going strong. I just mixed it with some chicken and the aroma in here to die for. And I want to say hi. And I say hi. Say hi, my name is Naya. Hi. Yes. Do your hair like this. Like this. Remove it from your face. Move it from your face. Hmm. Yeah, come. Can I mommy do it for you? Hey, I don't even know what else we share. Time to bake in the air fryer. Air fryer has to be the best invention. It's so easy. Like, you see how quickly this will do. It's a lot, Sha. It's overpacked, but I'll just keep tossing it in between. Guys, can you believe that um, NDBC just officially, NDBC's liver, which is the cow we killed six months ago, NDBC's cow we killed like six months ago, his liver just officially finished. And I'm so sad because every time I've made fried rice, I've been using his liver. So I didn't realize how expensive liver is. I went to buy liver and they said one small thing like this, 4,000. It wasn't even up to half a liver. I was like, what? So today I'm using the sausage, aka hot dog I have in my freezer because, you know, as gallop. I was gonna ask him too, but I was like, nah, uh, I just use the hot dog. Anyway, I was, I was taking, I was busy enjoying the business and forgot how expensive things are, you know. And I said, no, I have to, I have to just cook it like that. I must not chop liver. I'm not die if I don't have liver in my fried rice. Apparently, some people use gizzard in place of liver. What do you use in your fried rice? Do you just make it plain? Do you add liver? Do you add gizzard? I've never tried gizzard though. What I've tried though is uh, beef heart, which was really, really good. I think I tried it when I was in the States. We could not find liver, so we got hearts instead. And my sister likes hearts. And yeah, we tried this in fried rice and it was really, really good. The texture was kind of bouncy and it was nice. So yeah, that's just what I'm trying to say. This mini rant is about me not using liver in this fried rice. Wow, such a big deal. Anyway, I need to go and finish cooking now. So. I didn't put too much because there's already a whole lot in the meat water. But this is how you can get it colored perfectly every time. But as you can see, the meat water is already quite deep in color, so no need for too much. The perfect yellow for me. Not too yellow, orange, like just perfect, like light hint of yellow. I'm actually going to leave this rice open so that some of the steam will just leave and it will be drier. Because I'm just going to finish it up now. But we have a bit of time. Let it cool down small and dry up, you know, so it's not too moist. I'm living life on the edge because this pot is just too small for this rice. I don't even know why I made this quantity. We are literally just four adults in this house, but we'll use it for breakfast and dinner. So there will definitely be leftovers. So I've made just four cups. It's basically ready at this point. Gosh, come and eat though. I hope it tastes good. I'm not ready to eat. There's no salt. I only added a little bit of salt. No salt at all. Probably going to go and shower once I finish turning this 
I'll just share everybody's food and shower, take a nap before you see me again. My favorite Korean drama at the moment, King Deland, has two new episodes they released this weekend. So I'm going to catch up on that. Anyway, I'll see you guys later. Let me go and take care of myself first. Sorry. This rice is very essential. I most want to send some to Toe, but today is Sunday. I know she cooked some. Something yummy for herself as well. Although I don't know what she cooked. Maybe I'll call and ask her if I should send her some. On days like this, on days like this, I miss living close to my mother-in-law because by now I've just put her on this table and taken to her. But we don't live close anymore, so it's not the same. And she does that as well. Like sometimes if she cooks something really yummy, like soup or whatever, she'll save some for us and bring for us. So ah, I'm about to try and give my guy his own. This is his plate. I added tiger nut milk that we just made. And yeah. Stress also finishing for me, so let him eat, let him eat and enjoy himself. I know he's going to say the rice is much, but almost is the least I can do for him because he's had the most stressful week. I just have to refresh my braids because he was so old and it's still going to be like almost a week if I change it. But yeah, I think it's time for me to go and eat my own lunch and take a nap now that the kids are finally down. I'm so exhausted then. This took me way longer than it should have. And quite frankly, if there's any skill I'm grateful for in this lifetime, is the fact that I can make my hair myself. I don't need nobody. Um, in secondary school, I used to bake people's hair. And they used, to, they used to pay me with like fish or because or meat or like small good provisions because they were not allowed provisions. And then I went to UK for school and I started like doing my hair myself. I think I even attempted to make, attempted to make like a couple goes hair for payment, but that didn't work out. <laughs> I quickly realized it was not for me. Anyway, let me share it. Well, this I was watching King Delando and this is the romantic scene and he had me oh in and I so romantic. See Korean dramas, eh? I don't know how they do real romance scenes, just too nice, man. Build up everything about their romance scenes is just hey too much. I'm telling you, this is all they'll do, but it will have you smiling sheepishly like a god. Ah you guys, are you watching King Deland right now? We all just woke up so from a nap. Hi, hi baby, say hi. Hi. Yeah. So, hi. She just ate, so she's so hi. cheerful. Hi. Hi. Baby. Hi guys. So, um, I was just editing this vlog and I thought like this was so such an un unproductive day. Like I didn't even do anything. All I did was cook. I don't even have cooked if I'm being honest. If not for my girl that already prepped all the vegetables and you know help me clean up like i was not in the mood it was one of those days i would not mind let's go out and eat but you know i didn't have the strength to go out let's be fair but that's besides the point you know and i just netflix and chilled and just slept is it was such a lazy day and i started to feel somehow like why upload a video where i'm basically doing nothing and then i thought you know what like some days are going to be unproductive and that's okay i mean i slept in really really late i didn't even go to church because one person decided to do night video i already felt bad about that like i don't need to beat myself up it's okay to be unproductive some days just so long as it doesn't become a pattern you know um especially for me that works from home it's very difficult to be able to like separate your time and plan and make sure your weekdays are spent like being productive so sometimes the days can mix up a little bit and her auntie will let me hear what but um anyway that's just what i wanted to say that some days if you're being unproductive just enjoy it for what it is don't feel bad some days are always going to be like that being unproductive is not a sin it doesn't make you lazy it is what it is anyway i hope you guys enjoyed this video if your family member say present and i hope you guys have been enjoying all the vlogs and every time people say now someone upload vlogs upload vlogs i've been uploading vlogs so you guys should go and catch up if you haven't already okay anyway i'll see you next time bye